So as many people know, footwear is a mild issue for me because my feet are size 14 wide in US. Uh, for anyone who's not in the US, um, 12 is like the, the biggest size you can normally get everywhere. Occasionally you can find like 13s, but 14s are pretty hard to find. You kind of have to special order them or go to like to the giant shoe store and just root around and eventually you can find a few 14s in there. But anyway, so my feet are huge. It's hard to find shoes. So I was importing sandals for a while. This was the second pair that I imported. You may notice they're kind of like squished and bent. Like, uh, I don't know, they like shriveled up. They weren't in the sun that much. Oh, and the soles fell off too. Anyway, I got tired of buying sandals <clears throat> that would last a month and then just shrivel up. Or I have ones that I, that fell apart the first time I wore them. Um, so my solution to this was I made myself some super duper heavy duty sandals out of truck tires. And these are great, but not not the best to take on a boat trip. Like I can't really throw these in my kayak. They're like three pounds each. They're huge. I mean, they're great for a lot of things, but no, they don't solve all the issues. My other piece of footwear that I've had for a while is some flip flops that I've repaired a bunch of times. And that's what I usually take with me if I'm going kayaking or I'm boating to town or something. And I'll just wear them if I'm going in somewhere, but, and I'll wear bare feet most of the time. So, uh, I don't know, like two months ago, I, I was sitting around and I was just like, darn it, someone must be selling indestructible sandals. So I went on the internet and typed in indestructible sandals. And the first place that came up was Flip Rocks. And uh, so I was like, well, I might as well write this guy and see if he'll send me a pair of these indestructible sandals and you know so I sent him a message saying hey if you send me a pair of these I'll show them on my YouTube channel and then I immediately went to the next thing that came up I don't remember what it was because usually when I do this kind of thing I have to write to like 20 places before I get one response but like in the midst of going to the second website the first guy answers me and he's like yeah man no problem and I was like what cool so anyway I recently got I, this is fast forwarding to today I recently got um, a shipment. So as many people know, like every month or two, there's a shipment that comes and I can get stuff put on it to, to get shipped here. So that's why anything I order takes like a month or two to get here. So one came last week. So I got in the zombie chopper. It's my little trimaran boat with my friend and we were going to town and I'd been working real hard the day before. So I was kind of tired and the zombie chopper has pedals and has solar panel roof and has some batteries in the back. Now we always save the batteries for the return trip, you know, just in case, just in case what? I don't know, but just in case. Uh, we left pretty, pretty early in the morning, so there, there was no sun then. And then it was cloudy all morning, so we, we were just pedaling the whole way. And there was a current going against us the whole way there. It was nice coming back, but the, on the way there, no good. So we got there, we were pretty, uh, pretty tired and we skipped breakfast. And I was, I was hungry because I'd been working hard anyway. But then we were like, well, let's just, let's just go the three miles on foot to pick up the stuff, get back to town, then we can relax and eat some food, right? But uh, I was getting a tummy ache at this point because I was so hungry. And I was kind of walking funny, like trying to uh, keep going, like at a, a pretty fast pace, but sort of waddling. And I guess the way I was walking, I ended up with these blisters on the bottoms of my heels. So we made it the three miles to where we picked up the stuff, right? So we load all our, our backpacks and our bags and everything. And we start on the way back, back to town and like half a, half a mile into the way back, I'm like, man, my feet don't feel good. And I look and there's like, uh, like this big purple blood blister on the bottom of my heel. And the other one had the same thing. It was kind of gross. They weren't popped or anything, but it was like purple, like, oh. And I was like, oh man, I'm gonna have to put on my, oh, wait a minute, I think I got a delivery. So I opened a delivery of these sandals. So I opened the box and sure enough, these are in there. Now, I was in kind of rough shape at this point. My feet were in bad condition, but I was like, let's put these on 
and see if I can just get there and everything will be fine. Now, I don't know what this rubber stuff is here, but I'm calling it sunshine. Because for the rest of the day, much to the chagrin of my friend who was with me, I was singing, walking on sunshine, hey! Because my feet felt, felt amazing after that. Now, maybe it's because I've been walking around in, you know, truck tire sandals and bare feet all the time. But even with these blood blisters on my heels, oh, these felt so good. These are the flip rock sandals. Um, I don't wear these all the time because, you know, if I'm just like going from here to there or something, I'll just put my flip flops on. But anywhere I'm going where I want to like actually go a reasonable distance on my feet, I'm putting these on. And uh, yeah, they're really good. I've had them for a week. They haven't fallen apart yet, which is very encouraging. So I'll let you know in a few months if they're falling apart. So. I'm making this video because if, if there's anyone else, I mean, obviously I'm making this video because I told the guy I would make a video, but also if anyone else out there is looking for some like heavy duty sandals that aren't too expensive and are, are like super comfortable and pretty good, um, get some of these. Now this is only a size 12, 13, so I have to like max out the straps to get my feet in there. But even then, super comfortable. Now they also have this weird thing, kind of a cool thing. Uh, they have interchangeable soles. They're Velcro. Wait, where's the other ones? I have some other ones right here. So, oh, that's wrong. These ones are felt on the bottom. I don't want to stick it all the way down because they stick really good. Um, but these ones are so you can walk on boats without scuffing it or anything. I just go with the rubberized ones because that's good for me. But, uh... That does seem like a kind of thing that's a little risky to have, like it might come off, but uh, it seems like they're sticking pretty well and they're not getting filled up with dirt or anything. So I'm pretty excited about that. Anyway, I'll let you know how it goes over the next few months if they fall apart or anything, but they seem like they're pretty good. Alright, I think that's my, my flip rock story. Hmm. I'm still keeping these though, just in case. Actually, I really like these when I'm doing super heavy duty destroy sandals things but yeah i'm totally wearing these anytime i go to town from now on and they're light they're really light so i can throw them in my boat they don't add a bunch of weight and stuff and they don't they're not too big or anything i can, I can like put them like that and put them in my backpack on the side yeah really good stuff and uh i gotta say super thanks to the, the flip rocks dude for sending these because i've been without comfortable footwear for a significant period of time and even more importantly, I can run in these. Oh, I haven't had footwear I can run in, in like a year. So I, you know, I run around in bare feet and stuff, and even in town. But that's that gets a little hard on your feet after a while. Okay, I'm gonna go do some stuff.